Welcome to Zills Made Easy. I'm Paula Marie in Kansas City, and after 30 years or more of plain finger symbols, I'm going to show you the easy way to learn how. First of all, you will need a pair of Zills, also known as finger symbols. They come in sizes A, B, C, or student size, which is just a little bit smaller than size A. If you're a beginner, you will find it easier to learn on a smaller size. So I'm using the student size today. Now first of all, I'm going to give the left hand the easiest job because I am right-handed. We're going to give each hand a different job. Generally speaking, there are four beats per measure in belly dance music. We're going to play all four of those main beats with the left hand. One, two, three, four. That is all the left hand is going to do this entire time, is just play those main beats. One, two, three, four. Now halfway in between each one of those counts of music is a half count denoted in English by the word and. We're going to play the ands with the right hand. So now what we've done is take a full count of music, split it in half. We're going to play the first half with the left hand, the second half with the right hand which would be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, now that is not the primary belly dance rhythm. In between the half count and the next full count of music is a quarter beat called an uh. In English we denote that by the word uh. So now we have and uh, and uh, and uh. The left hand is still going to play the main beats, one, two, three, four. On the right hand, we're either going to hit one time for and, or we're going to hit twice for and, uh, and, uh. Now, putting the left hand with the right hand, the primary rhythm would go like this. One, and, a, two, and, a, three, and, a, four, and, a, one, and, a, two, and, a, three, and, a, four, and, a, of course, I'm going in slow motion here. One and a two and a three and a four and a up to speed. That would sound like this. One and two and three. Now, if you'll notice, that sounds kind of like a horse galloping. Dump da da dump da da dump da da dump. So, if you're not good at counting music and you really can't tell a half beat from a quarter beat, no problem. Just listen to what the music that you're playing to is doing. If it's going dump da da dump da da dump da da dump da da dump, then you're going to play. If it's going dump da da dump da dump da da dump da, then you're going to play. Truthfully, over 30, really about 35 years ago, when I started playing finger cymbals, I could not keep all the and does going. I just couldn't keep the rhythm going. So every other time I played in half beats, that would let sound like this. One and a two and three and a four and. Or dump da da dump 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 da da dump dump. One. Watch my right hand and see if I'm hitting once or twice. Here we go. Generally speaking, I'm only going to use that when the music I'm playing to is playing that rhythm. However, if you're just getting started like me all those years ago, you may find even during the music where it's going dum da da dum da da dum da da dum da da that you're playing half beats and the primary rhythm in a mixture like this is easier than just go ahead and do that to get started. I wasn't doing that for more than about two weeks before I could keep the primary rhythm going, which again is one and a two and a three and a four and a up to speed. Okay, now uh, the main thing here is to match your finger symbols to what the music is doing. Now to demonstrate this, I am going to use the first selection off Tim Stark's new album, Belly Dance Music made in the USA. The first song is the three minute routine. I assume it's named that because it has all the various tempos necessary to, comp 
to create a complete belly dance routine in three minutes. Good for belly grams or any time you're called upon for a short performance. The music is actually going to start out with a slow introduction. During the slow music, we don't normally play the zills. Then it's going to kick into some fast music and the musicians are going to be playing in half beats. They're going to play one and, and three and four and, one and, and three and four and. Again, if numbers aren't your thing, da 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 And I will do the same with my sills. Actually, the first measure of music, I'm not going to play anything. I'm going to let you listen so that you can hear that rhythm. The next two measures I will play. And then the music is going to kick into that mixture of half beats and the primary rhythm that we did a few minutes ago. One and a two and three and a four and. So that's what I'm going to play. And then it will ease on into the primary rhythm. So you watch my right hand to see if I'm hitting once or twice. Okay, after that section of fast music, we'll, it will slow down for a slow section, and then there'll be a drum section for shimmies and fast hip lifts, and then there'll be the fast music at the end. So let's get started here. Slow intro. <laughs> I had that primary rhythm going quite a bit there. We're going to hit some half notes here. slow section now. Really good for your slow, sultry body movements and Egyptian head and arm movements uh, to dance your way out of a veil if you're wearing one. After that, <coughs> we're going to have a drum section. The drum section is going to start out like one and a two and a three, four, or dump, da da dump, da da dump, dump. In slow motion, one and a two and a three, Four. One and a two and a three, four. It's going to do that four times and then it will kick on into the primary rhythm. However, even after that, there will be places in there that it will revert to half beats da, 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 here and there. So you guys just watch, do I hit my right hand once or twice? Okay, here we go. <laughs> of going and part of the time I'm doing this see if you can pick that up now we're going to be coming to the end here pretty soon 
right before the music ends, it's going to slow down where you do some dramatic slow movement or movements, whatever you have time for there. And then we're going to have some spin and drop music. This is where you can just hear the music spinning and be a good idea if we spin too. I like to ring the finger cymbals when I'm doing that. And then it's got a big boom at the end. If you can drop to the floor without hitting your head, it makes a dramatic finish if you can drop to the floor. Okay, here we go. <laughs> told me that one problem with these videos is that the teacher does not do enough in slow motion so I want to go through some of these things again. Playing in half beats. One and two and three and four and. It's pretty simple. Actually the song we were playing to, uh, and if you like the music there's a link below where you can get it. Anyway, this is a pretty good song. It's got a lot of half beats in there. So if you never get past the half beat stage, you could actually play all the fast parts in this song and half beats and sound pretty good. Okay, now a mixture of half beats in the primary rhythm. Every other time, I will play just half beats. One. One and a two and three and a four and. That is a good way to get started. Other ways you may he hear the half beats brought in. One and a two and a three and four and. One and two and a three and four and. Just listen to your music and see what your music is doing. And do your best to match your zills to the music. I recommend getting one piece of music to learn to. Study that music, each little section. Get it down, how to play to each section of that and then play it over and over and over again until every time you hear that music it's just second nature how to play your finger cymbals to that piece of music. Then when you go on to the next piece of music you're going to find out it's a lot easier to do after you've mastered one piece of music. This song is good, it's got everything in three minutes you need for a whole routine. So I think it's a really good one to practice too. Now my next video I'm going to show you how to put the finger cymbals together with the dance. So you might want to watch for that. In the meantime, good luck with your finger symbols. <laughs>